so my transfer is in three days. We are starting progesterone today. I'm on um, the Prometrium, the capsule, 200 milligrams, and you can take it vaginally or orally. This uh, medication last time in my last cycle when I took it, it made me really dizzy. So I plan to, you can take it any time of day, but it just, you're supposed to be consistent. But I plan to take it at night just because it makes me dizzy. So uh, anyway, doing a little painting, my old t-shirt, trying to get all of the things crossed off the list <sighs> before the transfer on Monday. So, cause you know, you just, I go into a transfer even though I'm like not necessarily as optimistic about transfers these days just because of the failures last year. You still kind of have to think, okay, if this does work, you know, like how is my life going to change? And so there's definitely some things I wanted to cross off the list before my transfer. So I'm painting the ceiling in the kitchen. <laughs> you can see if this part's been done, this part hasn't. When we ha we did a bathroom remodel last year, I guess it's been like, we did it like right after we moved in. So anyway, the bathroom is right above the kitchen, the master bath. And when they were doing it, it like cracked our ceiling, you know, just like the, the paint, like a settling crack look, you know? So they spackled it because I can't do texture like the, our ceiling is textured I can't do texture obviously so they spackled it and it's their job anyway they're the ones who correct it so they spackled it but then I never had them paint it so for like a year and a half I've had like this big spackle spot in my kitchen and the reason I never had them paint it was because to be honest with you I would never go back to this so we hired a contractor we didn't hire the subs ourselves we hired a contractor, which is way more expensive, but we just needed it done fast. And it wasn't done fast. It took like three months to do this little tiny, we have a very small master bath. Cause our house is 40 years old. Master baths 40 years ago were not big. <laughs> not the way they are now. Anyway, it took like three months to get it done. And it was so hard to get him to like even show up to our house. And so to get him to even do the spackling was such a pain in the butt that I was like, I am not gonna have him paint. It will like never happen. So I didn't, and I should have because it was his job. He cracked the ceiling, he needed to fix the ceiling. And then of course here I am a year and a half later and just barely repainting the ceiling. That was a long story. Anyway, so starting progesterone tonight, back to the whole point. Even though I know you guys love vlogging, I've had comments lately about like, are you gonna keep vlogging? Just doing me, just doing what I have time for, my kids too, and I don't have time for much. So, um, anyway, progesterone tonight, three days till my transfer. I will be planning to take pregnancy tests again, even though it's hard to see the negatives, but it's better seeing a negative pregnancy test than getting and waiting up, and for me personally, then waiting till the beta and finding out it's negative that way. That's too much pressure. So I already actually bought the pregnancy test because last time, remember last time, I bought the crappy Amazon ones and I wasn't, I didn't like feeling not so confident in them. So I like ran to the store at like 7 a.m. one morning to get better brands <laughs> and it ended up being negative anyway. But I've already bought the pregnancy test, so I am prepared. So anyway, feeling good, feeling... What was the word I used last time, the phrase I used? Cautiously pessimistic? I think we're past the point of optimism at this point, but I'm not like fully pessimistic, just feeling like in the middle. So we're calling it cautiously, pes or, yeah, cautiously pessimistic. So anyway, okay, three more days.